Hello, hello out there world. Welcome back to my channel. Uh, today is going to be part one of a two-part series on this white and gold kind of Calcutta quartz looking finish technique. Uh, it is completely opposite of what I normally do. But you can use the same technique with pretty much any colors really. Uh, I'm going to show you first these colors that I'm using, which is Unicorn Spit. It's a wood stain, but I love using just a little bit in resin. It gives it a really cool translucent look. Uh, you can also use Volumolite uh, White Dye. And then I use Just Resin Titanium. It's a paste. And then the Stone Coat white metallic mica powder. I love using, as you know, with my uh, Hollywood marble, I love using three of the same color, but in different uh, pigments because they kind of fight with each other and give cool effects without doing a single thing. Then I also am using two gold pigments in this technique. Uh, one is this Color Obsession 007 and the other one is Stone Coat. It's a mica powder uh, gold dust metallic. It's very, very bright gold. And then I also have two glitters that I'm going to throw in as well that I custom made actually. So down in the description box I will have all of these colors listed uh, where you can get them, which mainly is either going to be Amazon or Artist Till Death, because that's where I shop. Uh, I do have a code actually for Artist Till Death, also code VAMP. You can use that to save a little money. Um, many tools that I use is also down in my description box. So basically what this is, uh, it's a like a serving board or cut, small cutting board. But I needed a couple display staging pieces for a home. And that's all this is going to be. Just a staging piece. You could technically, though, do it just like this and then use the back of it as your actual cutting board and serving tray. And then just have this, you know, in your home propped up. This is only layer one of probably three. I am always going for depth and almost 90% of the projects that I do have a minimum of three layers, if not four. So on part two, you'll see how I soften the piece up a little bit and finish it off. Um, I think that's it. So subscribe if you haven't and hit the notification bell. I hope that you enjoy the rest of this video and this technique. Maybe learn something and I'll see you on the next one. Okay, bye-bye.